Hi there, Mr. Thompson here with, yes, you guessed it, another math video lesson. Today we're expanding algebraic expressions using what's called the distributive law. Okay, the distributive law is really, really simple, and we're just going to get right into it with an example. So, um, our example is going to be the problem 2 times the, the quantity 3 plus b. Okay, and I called it a quantity because 3 plus b is in these brackets. Okay, um, now when you have bod mass, right, you're going to do brackets first and then multiplication and then addition. Well, there's nothing we can really do in the brackets, right? 3 plus b is just 3 plus b. These are unlike terms, so we can't add them together. But what we can do is distribute. We can take this 2 and multiply it by this quantity by multiplying the 2 by both the 3 and the b. We can take the 2 and multiply it by both parts on the inside, okay? So, um, that looks a little something like this. We have 2 times 3 plus, and the reason we have a plus here is because of the plus there, right? We carry down that plus. We have, so, 2 times 3 plus 2 times b. Okay? Now, 2 times 3 is easy. That would be 6. 2 times b, well, those are unlike terms. Uh, I mean, the, well, they're, we're multiplying, so it's one term, and we're going to take that time symbol out, so we just make it 2b. And that's the answer. That's the that's as sort of simplified as we can get, or we expand as expanded as we can get, or whatever, using the distributive law. Okay. Um, that's our answer. Let's look at another uh, example. Okay, two a times the quantity three minus a. So this time we're going to take the two a and multiply it by three, and multiply it by a. Okay. So we have two a times three. And then minus, since there's a minus here, all right, uh, 2a times a. All right. 2a times 3, we just take the 2 times the 3, and we get 6, so 6a. And then minus 2a times a. And here we have a times a, so we just make that into a squared, so 2a squared. Now these have different uh, pronumeral factors, different variable factors, so... Uh, they are unlike terms, so we can't simplify and we can't combine them. They just stay the way they are. That's the answer. Okay? Pretty easy, right? Well, let's look at some more examples. Okay? Here's an example. Negative 3b times the quantity 2a plus 5b squared. All right? That's a bit of a mouthful. Okay? All we're going to do, as before, take this thing on the outside, multiply it by the bits on the inside. All right? So we get negative 3b times 2a plus negative 3b times 5b squared. Okay. Negative 3b times 2a, the numbers multiply together, so we get negative 6, and then we just have a b and an a along for the ride, multiplying in. Okay. Now, uh, we have, we'll put, instead of a plus, we're going to make this a minus because we're adding a negative, so we can just make that a little um, cleaner by making it a subtraction. Okay, and then we do 3 times 5, which is 15, and b times b squared, well b squared was b times b, so really we have b times b times b, which is 3 b's multiplying together, which is b cubed. Okay, um, obviously these are unlike terms, so they uh, don't combine, that is our answer. Okay, one more example. And then we'll call it a day, or a video, or whatever. Um, we have here, you'll notice, two different distribution problems. Okay? We have 4 times the quantity 6 minus a, minus 2a times quantity 3 minus b. Okay? Now, what you can do when you have two different problems like this, two different um, sets of brackets and things, you can almost treat them like separate problems, do them each individually, and then see if you can combine them later on. Okay, so, uh, and we'll just do this kind of quickly. 4 times 6 is 24, right? 4 times negative a, right, is negative 4a. So we had that minus, so we keep the minus. 4 times a is 4a, okay? Now, um, what I'm going to do here is, and I could have done this with the a as well. You can always do this. Anytime you're subtracting something, it's the same as adding a negative. Okay, so now I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to put the plus, okay, 
because now I had that plus there, so I'll put the plus, and I have negative 2a times 3, which is negative 6a, and I'll, I'll work on these you know, symbols and simplifying that a little bit later. Um, then I have negative 2a times negative b, right? So I get a plus because negative times a negative is a positive. So plus um, 2ab, right? Easy as that, okay? Now what I can do is I can look and I can see that I have a couple of like terms. I have negative 4a and negative 6a. So negative 4a plus negative 6a is, uh, well, the 24, we'll keep the 24, there's no single numbers, just the 24, so that doesn't have any like terms. And as I was saying, the negative 4a and the negative 6a become negative 10a. Okay? And then we have the plus 2ab along for the ride. Okay? And that's our final answer. No more like terms, and we're done. So hopefully uh, that gives you uh, some idea of how to do the distributive law. And... Um, Go have fun with that. All right. Bye-bye.